Hello chaps and welcome to my full build and final reveal video for the Monogram Pro Modeler 148 scale P40E Warhawk. This is my build entry into Ian Poulton's In Foreign Service group build that ends on May 31st. Still time to build one if you want to join in. Anyway, on with the build. First off, I cut parts from the sprues to make them ready for sub-assemblies and then glued those parts together to create the sub-assemblies, trimmed any flash, etc. I then noticed engraving on one of the wings, so that needed to be removed. I then assembled the wings and rescribed the panel lines. I used the um, raised panel line detail as guidelines and then I did that on the fuselage arms as well. That's the port side fuselage off, and that's the starboard side. After that was done, I then drilled out the exhaust manifolds, make them look a little bit more realistic. Then got all the parts ready there for priming. I used a black Steinol res primer. I then primed the inside of the fuselage arms. And moved on to detailing the air intake radiator housing assembler and that was followed by the instrument panel. I then assembled the cockpit and detail painted that. I then followed that by painting the interior green around the cockpit area in the fuselage arms. The instrument panel was then located into the cockpit tub and then it was on to assembling all that into the fuselage. So first off was a glue in the radiator air intake assembly in the front there, gluing the two halves together to complete the fuselage assembler and then from the underside inserting the cockpit tub assembler and then took a couple of views of that and this is an underside view showing how it just drops into that large opening before the wings are glued in place and there are the wings glued in place taped to hold them till set and when they were set tape and clamps were removed and all the joints were filled with some sprue goo. I then painted the sides of the fuselage where the side windows go with the interior green. And then I painted the inside of the wheel bay doors interior green. Then onto masking the windshield, the canopy and the side windows. I then glued those in place and then masked the cockpit with some damp tissue. There was gaps around the windshield so that needed filling. And when the filler was set I smoothed it down so she was ready for priming. But before priming I cleaned everything with isopropyl alcohol. I then masked the air intake with some damp tissue. And that was followed by masking the wheel wells. Before priming, I airbrushed the interior green on the framework of the canopy and then went on with priming with Steinol Res Grey. Primer looked good, I didn't see anything that needed to be touched up, so I moved on with brush painting pre-shading mix of black and white to make like a dark grey then it was on to painting the underside I used a mix of Sky XF21 some Japanese Navy Grey XF12 and a bit of white to tone it down airbrushed that on and airbrushed it onto the peripheral parts drop tank, wheel bay doors, wheel hubs and oleo struts I then mixed a bit of white 
more white to that mix to tone it down further and airbrush some highlights then sealed it all in with a gloss clear coat and that's the peripheral part sealed with the gloss clear coat next thing was to make some masks so measuring the view on the painting instructions the length and the length on the model I could create a scale and using that scale I could magnify the painting instructions on my um, photocopier and then use those magnified copies as masks and then mask the underside ready to paint the top side cut out the dark green areas on the masks tape those to the model and then the spaces in between excuse me <coughs> could be airbrushed with the dark earth brown I used a model masters dark earth airbrush that on the and mixed a bit of white with it to tone it down and then I could airbrush some highlights I then removed all the masks check the paintwork I thought it looked okay so while that was drying I then moved on to painting the propeller assembly parts I then sealed in that brown with a gloss clear coat and when that was dry I masked over it and the spaces in between could be airbrushed with a dark green I used a mix of Model Master 4729 Euro Green just a couple of drops in some darker, uh, sorry, dark green uh, Umbro toned it down with some white and then mixed more white to do some highlights <coughs> excuse me remove the mask, check the paintwork out, thought it looked okay what I noticed where there was nothing representing where all the lights go so using some PVA glue I put some spots on the rudder and on the wingtips on the side and top side to represent navigation lights, landing lights etc also my uh, three of my guns were missing they were short shots in the moulding so I used PVA glue again to make those and when that was all dry I painted the exhaust stacks and the guns painted the tip lights on the wingtips that's the port side red that's the vertical stabiliser rear tail white lights and then moved on to the starboard green side light and I flipped her over and painted the underside the red port side and the green starboard side after that I could clear coat the green paint and those little details with a gloss clear coat to make her ready for decals when that was all dried I got everything ready to apply decals and then there you see the decals in place I always use a Walther's setting solution I love that stuff it's really good so I'll never change that there's the underside decals that's looking from the port side this is the starboard side and the last decals I put in place were the ones on the propeller blades two on each blade there after the decals are done I assembled the rear wheel bay and then painted the green circle around the roundels so that would represent covering the yellow circle on the British roundels and then masked and painted the black footstep on the port side wing and then painted and detail painted the pilot on the left and the mechanic on the right standing on his toolbox and then gloss clear coated them make them ready for a wash and then detail painted the wheels and the earlier struts and then they were all gloss clear coated to make them ready for a wash and so were the decals they were sealed in with the gloss clear coat that's the underside and then I could move on to doing some weathering washes when that was dry 
I mixed white with a little bit of black to make a light grey wash use that as a fade in sort of application and did it also on the peripheral parts and then when that was all set I did the underside allow about one hour to dry then rub off the excess and just leave on an amount that looks good and then I followed that up with a, a dark wash for the highlight in the panel lines that I described and then also applied that dark wash to the peripheral parts when that was done I could clear coat everything with a final matte clear coat so she was ready for doing some streaking effects there's some chip in there as you can see on the top side and that's the underside all final all clear coated as you see it looks toned down now looks much better than the shiner so then I mixed a bit of brown with a bit of black to make the exhaust stains thin it down and that was then followed up with assembling the propeller after the propeller was assembled I fitted the drop tank with the braces applied some dirt stains there around the wheelbase some streaking oil streaks from the radiator and some dirt stains around the rear wheel bay area and then glued in the vent pipes that was followed by the radi uh, radio the rudder actuator and the rear wheel I then glued in the oleo struts and the braces mounted the wheels and then when that was set I put her on her three feet as you can see there I then painted the radiator uh, sorry the drop tank cap red fitted the wheel bay doors and then painted the vent pipes and the rear wheel I then put a blob of uh, PVA glue on the front of the vertical stabilizer there that'll represent mounting point for antenna cables I then glued in the rear view mirror followed by the pitot tube I then put some mud splatter on the wheels some streaks on the underside of the aircraft painted the rear view mirror and that was followed by painting the pitot tube and fitting some cables to represent the antennas when they were fitted I then put blobs of PVA glue at strategic points to represent the insulators they're the ones on the rear horizontal stabilizers painted white and then the last couple on the top of the fuselage there and that completed the assembly guys so thanks for watching let's move on with final reveal